Hey guys, this is Tom Havlick here with a quick uh, 3D Max tutorial on how to do an ambient occlusion render. I'm going to go ahead and set this to shaded because I don't like the 3DS Max 2012 viewport, view mode and whatnot. I'm going to go ahead and drag out some uh, basic geometry just for the sake of this render. Uh, I'm just going to get some spheres and copy this. Maybe I have maybe a box. Rotate it a little bit. And that should be good. It'll serve our purposes quite nicely. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn on safe frames just so I can see what I'm rendering out. And when I get to a point that I like, I'll just control A everything and then assign any Lambert material. Turn the value up to 220 and make sure the saturation is at zero. Hue can be whatever. If saturation is at zero, then it won't make a difference. Next, I'm going to go to the Render Setup tab. Uh, right now, I have Quicksilver Renderer assigned. And, uh, oop, forgot one thing. We need to drop a skylight in. So go to the Create tab, go to Lights, change that to Standard, set of Photometric, drop a skylight in. All right, so by default, uh, this is set up like this, this uh, Render Setup dialog. You can go to the Advanced Lighting tab and drop in the Light Tracer plugin. You can go ahead and hit Render and you can see that our ambient occlusion result is right here. There are a few settings that you can go over. Uh, one of them is bounces, so if you turn this up, uh, the, the little occlusion rays bounce around and you get uh, less dark shadows, but it's a more physically accurate result. Uh, raise a sample, if you turn this way down, then you get sort of like a film grain effect on the image. Uh, for me, I think it's about 96 would give me a decent result. And it'd probably go up to 128, but I don't care. Uh, global multiplier just brightens the whole thing overall, and uh, skylights, I believe that just uh, is pretty much a multiplier for the uh, brightness of the skylight. So you, you can play with these, uh, give you something to do. So I've seen people use the Quicksilver hardware renderer every once in a while, and I'm starting to use it a little bit more often because it's fast. See, we just rendered out, and that gave us our ambient occlusion render pretty much instantly. And uh, I don't know exactly where the uh, settings. Oh, here we go. Ambient occlusion. Uh, hit render. There we go. So we need to turn on ambient occlusion in the uh, render dialog for uh, Quicksilver Hardware Renderer. And then we can hit render and we get a decent result. Well, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any more suggestions for videos on YouTube, just let me know. Um, hit me up on YouTube, Vimeo, or Form, or something. Uh, drop me an email if you have my email. I don't know. Uh, see ya.